Now I would like to introduce today's speaker, um, Kagaku um, Nikkei Manga Mangaka Hayanon. Hayanon-san. Hayanon-san is a mangaka ambassador of Japanese manga. She holds a BA, bachelor degree in physics and master's in English education. Hayanon-san writes and illustrates comic strips about science topics such as auroras, global warming, cosmic rays, and many more. These comics are mainly aimed towards children and non-scientists like myself, um, though she has written for many audiences. Over the past 20 years, Hayanon-san has produced science comics for magazines, newspapers, universities, research institutes, including JAXA and NASA as well. Without further ado, I will now hand over to Hayanon-san. Um, Hayanon-san will speak for roughly 40 minutes, and there will be a quick Q&A session at the end. So Hayanon-san, if you're ready, um, virtual floor is yours. Thank you. Hello everyone, Nina Lan. My name is Hayanon. I am a Japanese manga artist. I learned that today's audience is basically Irish people who are interested in Japanese culture. This talk is open to everyone, so maybe some of you are watching this online talk from outside of Ireland. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to talk to you today. And I'm I'm honored to be a part of Experience Japan, the largest Japan-related event in Ireland. At the beginning of my talk, I would like to thank people who have organized and supported this program. Mr. Hugo O'Donnell, Chair of Experience Japan Festival Committee, Dr. Naonori Kodate, EJ Committee member, and the rest of EJ Committee members. Thank you for your help. And I would like to thank Ms. Keiko Nakata from the Embassy of Japan in Ireland for her kind support. Several years ago, I contributed the illustration to a book about doing in science by Dr. Naonori and his mother, Kashiko Kodate. Dr. Kashiko Kodate, she is an emeritus professor at the Japan Women's University. She is a person who has contributed greatly to science education for women in Japan. As a women with a degree in physics. I have been working with her for almost 20 years. This is the reason why I was invited to this event to experience Japan and I am giving this talk today. And more, I would like to thank all of you who are attending this talk today. Um, many of you probably still wonder why a manga artist is coming to this Place. So I will tell you a little about myself. Uh, Hayanon, this is my pen name. I'm a manga artist based in Japan. I studied physics at university and after graduation, I became a professional manga artist. In the, in the early years of my career, I mean, I was uh, when I was in my 20s and early 30s, I created many manga such as serial that writes works in Japanese popular video game magazines, science magazines, and newspaper. After working 50 years of, as a professional manga artist, so then I had two children and a wife. I enrolled in graduate school and earned a master's degree in English education. I am a self-employed manga artist, but moreover, after grad school, I work in the area of PR for research, utilizing manga to communicate the results of research at universities and the illustrations for the public. Uh, I'm working with these three aspects, uh, science and technology, education, manga, uh, these three are my specialties. Mm, next. As I mentioned, I am a self-employed and uh, work under the name Science Manga Studio. I am currently working with four members, they are young artists. We live in different parts of Japan and do not usually see each other. We, we share our work online and create our manga and illustration. I am actually not very good at public speaking, but I am a manga artist, so I can show you many of my 
drawings. Next, I I will tell you how I became a manga artist, showing you a picture story show. I was born in 1975 and grew up on Nishigaki Island, Okinawa, until I graduated from high school at the age of 18. Its location is about 2,000 kilometers from Tokyo and 300 kilometers from Taiwan. It is one of the westernmost islands of Japan. I was a kid who loved to draw and play video games. I was reading a lot of books, studied a lot because I didn't want people to, to think badly of manga and video games. When I was in high school, uh, when I was in high school, I was good at Japanese and English language subjects. As you know, I am good at science now, but what happened then? At the, at the time, I had a boyfriend and he told me that he was going to go to the math department at the university. So I decided to take the physics department because I was not good at math, but I loved physics. Several years ago, uh, several years later, yeah, I passed it successfully, but he felt Oh my gosh, I immediately wanted to quit that courage, but I kept going. Next. When I was in college, I wanted to be a musician, but that dream did not come true. I graduated from college without finding a job, and then I moved to Tokyo, and I had no choice but to start working as an illustrator. I visited an additional office, a scientific magazine aimed at children. Editors were very surprised that I had I had a physics background. And they gave me a lot of orders. A few years later, I started a manga series titled Go Go Mirabo. This is a science manga series for children. The character Mirabo, the love dog, and more the girl in the picture learn educational content with real scientists. In 2005, it was the world year of physics. I went to for an interview to produce a manga about it. Dr. Masatoshi Namiki, a physics scientist, said to me, oh, are you also from physics? Then you are one of us. One of us, so I was very happy about it. I am one of person in physics. And after that, this encouraged me a lot. And I started drawing physics manga. In 2007, I, I met two important people who one of them was Dr. Jun Nakamura. He named me science manga artist. And the other was Dr. Kashi Kokodate. She has once taught me much, more, much about how to work in the science field. The next is my favorite work, Fantastic R&D Research and Development, created for an individual uh, industrial newspaper. This manga was specialized in frontier research. Information about cutting edge R&D is very hard to comprehend for many people, but so enjoyable. If the information is provided in uh, accessible manner. I wanted to give readers to the opportunity to read such stories in a manga. I wrote many stories about physics, chemistry, biology, or science and astronomy, technology and manufacturing. I covered all science and engineering fields. Let's recap my career so far. And a major turning point event occurred in 2013. What happened? After working as a professional manga artist for 15 years, I decided to enter undergraduate school. Why? Next. Uh, in my 15 years of visiting various universities, I discovered that Japanese science students are not very good at writing in English, and not only that, sometimes even in Japanese. 
since my job was uh, to tell people about science, I wanted to contribute to solving this problem, even though I am a poor English speaker myself. At the age of 37, I had two children under five. I took the entrance exam for graduate school and, and I passed the exam. Next, I enrolled in a master's program at the Graduate School of Jiba University. In today's audience, I know there are several professors from Jiba University. Thank you. Uh, and the program was about English writing education, which emphasizes accuracy and logic. I studied academic writing, English, Japanese, contrastive rhetoric, inter intercultural communication from my advisor and the professors. I learned a lot of things during this period, uh, which turned out to be very useful later. In, next. In particular, my first Thesis topic was content and language integrated learning career. Uh, it is an approach for learning, teaching content through an additional language. In my case, students learn science and English simultaneously. As some of today's audience know, this was a new teaching method developed in Europe in the mid 19th and the first book published in Japan in. 2011. Since there were still few researchers of this in Japan at that time, so my science background allowed me to do good research. So, well, so after grad school, I worked as a PR for research utilizing manga. This experience has influenced my work. I began to produce different styles of manga. I have so far covered on an overview of my history. Okay, next. And in the next part, let's look at manga and the science manga. <laughs> I'm not sure if you are familiar with the Japanese word manga. Manga is a kind of comics, comics and cartoon. I searched for the definition of the word. Uh, Google showed one definition and Wikipedia showed another one. I think both are pretty good. And next, since I'm a manga myself, uh, here's my definition. Manga is a kind of comics, but particularly a story being expressed based on Japanese cultural context and being drawn with Japanese drawing techniques. Maybe this is similar to how you feel when you look at the uh, Japanese manga book or different. Mm. There are many kinds of manga in Japan. Generally, they are categorized by target person and uh, the content of the story. Education manga and science manga are also included in one of them. And more, we can also categorize them by its style. Many artists create just one picture manga, you know, four panels manga, and much more longer story with many pages. Educational and learning manga in Japan related to that has started since I was young. I mean, uh, it was from the 80s, the 80s. I know many people who regard comics as for kids, but in Japan, even adults enjoy manga and learn many things through manga books. Many books have been published many manga artists do their work. And I also have created a lot of science manga stories. Let's look science manga more closely. There. 
Uh, there are two types, non-fiction and fiction manga. Non-fiction manga is created based on actual events, introduce some, someone introduce something and explain or teach something. Sometimes the scientists do it by themselves. Actually, this is what I do mainly. Uh, my work is particularly focused on the part where real science appear and talk about their research. Stories of science and technology are difficult to produce because the content requires special knowledge. Therefore, there are very few people can do this. On the other hand, in Japan, many manga artists create a scientific topic. Scientific stories like a fictional character wants to be an astronaut or a veterinarian or something. People who read the story get to know what happens in the specialty field. It gives people a keen interest and encouragement. I met people who became a scientist because they read my science manga when they were young. Uh, Shinsu manga uh, increasing, since manga are increasing in last decade. Uh, science manga uh, increase in last in the last decade. From my point of view, some are good and some are not that good. However, that's an excellent thing that many manga artists try to describe. So, uh, scientific educational content in this way. I work with many people in a variety of occupations, like magazines, newspapers, publishers, scientists, universities, research institutes, academic society, academic organization, government, and there are many possibilities to apply manga in PR for research. Next. It depends on your idea and imagination how many things could be found. Thank you, next. In science manga work, I do story writing, drawing, translation, and many other things. So I do everything by myself. Now back to what I do and how I create manga and illustration. Previously, I created useful science illustrations. My focus was accuracy, but Recent years, I've moved on to painting pictures that I think are beautiful and enjoyable for the viewers. I have come to emphasize the visual aspect. It's the kind of things that the people would think, oh, I love this. Since the covers of the journal are typically computer graphic with shiny markers, I wanted to provide the hand-drawn textures to a lovely picture instead. Here are some examples I would especially like to introduce to you these nice artworks with Dr. Shuhei Furukawa, professor of Kyoto University. He wanted more collaboration between science and art, so he put my drawings on the covers of many journals. We created beautiful like, artworks. A typical process goes like this. Usually I have an interview with a scientist it takes 15 minutes to an hour. Um, I give them rough sketch and ask them, how about this? Then we agree and decide on the composition. After that, I start drawing and uh, it will be completed in a few hours. Next, this is another one. The another one in 2021. A couple of young artists of Science Manga Studio and I worked together to complete this painting in a few hours. Each of us painted the picture on our own computer and assembled them later. We share our work online. It's always exciting to paint together. And it was another project to project with uh, 
Dr. Nobuhiro Yanai, Associate Professor of Kyushu University. This picture looks really funny. The materials are working in the laboratory. Uh, for this one, I drew a rough sketch on the whiteboard during the interview. What, what do you think? I hope you like this one and you find it funny. Yeah, thank you. Next. Mm -hmm. So let's take a little look at the press release illustration. I work with mainly Kyoto University and other universities and research institutes. What is press release illustration? Uh, it is for newspaper report, reporters and uh, the general public. The main purpose is to help them understand the content quickly, enjoyably, and accurately so that they are engaged in the topic. Uh, it was an early provider of manga press release illustration. This is from 2011. Scientists tend to try new things, so they took on the new challenge of presenting their research results using manga. There is one interesting, interesting story. Typical Japanese manga draws the lines vertically, but because of my background in drawing manga for science and video game magazines, the lines were written horizontally. This gave me the advantage of being able to translate my science manga into English and other languages easily. So I drew, drew dozens of press release illustrations are year, physics, chemistry, biology, earth science, medical science, no matter what the subject comes up, I always draw it well, everything. Illustrations are chosen when people want to present the shape of things, while manga is a better method when people want to explain the movement and the flow of the story. I know Irish people speak English, so this is a relatively new trend in Japan. Uh, Japanese universities are focusing on publicity in English and foreign languages to present their research results abroad and to attract excellent foreign students and academics to come to them. Some of them are even producing foreign language manga to get their message out to overseas. They consider manga to be a powerful public relation tool. Main, thank you, next. Many of my clients often request an illustration in Japanese and English. They use this illustration for their presentation at an international conference. Thank you, thanks to This was one of my hardest challenging tasks of writing a story in English. It was an integrated research involving the biological, medical, and mathematical sciences. And my work has been extended to cover at the subject beyond the natural sciences. It was a pro project with unit of Kyoto in initiatives for humanities and social sciences at Kyoto University. We created five manga of social science and philosophy in Japanese. And here was also a Thai language version produced for an academic event held in Thailand. What's, uh, thank you. Next, uh, it was manga produ production with Nagasaki Vietnam Friendship Association, Nagasaki University, and Kanto University in Vietnam. Uh, this manga was about the mangrove and the drifted garbage problem in Vietnam. It was published in three languages Japanese, English, and Vietnamese. English version translated and designed by my friend Eric Carabella, artist based in the United States. It looks like a really nice American comic, and the Vietnamese version was translated by a Vietnamese researcher himself. I hope it is good translation, but I can't read it at all. Uh, the language is one of the major issues for me, me when publishing manga in a foreign language. In the next part, I'm going to 
tell you about science manga published in different languages. What could happen then? Okay, thank you. Uh, in, the, in the early days of my career, nine science manga books uh, published by Nagoya University, Japan. The former director, the late Dr. Yosuke Kamide, produced these books. The first one was in two, 2002 at the, that time, um, no scientists were working with uh, manga artists. He created a new research publicity. It was distributed and to an international conference and drew the attention of many people. So surprisingly, the books were translated into 25 languages. Uh, here's how we do it. First, it was translated from Japanese into English. At that time, a translator did it, and then I read it. I can check it. This is okay. However, in the next step, my manga is translated from English into other languages. I can't read them at all, so I can take responsibility for them at all. Uh, there might be main, many unintentional errors. Taking about language, take, and uh, talking about language, so I don't speak, I have no control. It's a great thing if my manga spread throughout the world, but there are some difficulties. Anyway, you can get, get it to multilingual version from the link. And the next, and this is another major problem. Homonyms are often written in manga stories, but when simply translated, they do not make sense. I really hate this. Uh, this frequently happens when a bad translator does the job. When it comes to foreign language versions that I cannot read, I have no control of what is going on. And the next is another potential issue is about cultural differences. People often say it's nice because pictures are this, the same all over the world, uh, but it is not true. Even small uh, even a small gesture like counting depends on the culture. What may be a gesture of friendship or normal behavior in the culture may be a sign of bad manners or hostility in another. In our science manga, we sometimes change the drawing while learning this. And, uh, this technique is called localization in video game industry and uh, it has been done for a long time. Because of my background in the video game industry, I have been taking this approach. And the, I designed the characters for the International Chemistry Olympiad held in Japan in 2021 and uh, did the cover art for the news newsletter. It, next, mm, it was a lot of fun to portray different people with different cultures and customs. So lastly, a few more slides about what I want to do in the future. Creating manga in English is what I would most like to do. I find it challenging due to my language ability and still I still need to learn about different cultures. However, I'm eager to take on this challenge. I would like to use manga to convey what is happen happening in the research and the development of science and technology. I will be happy if I can find someone in today's audience who wants to do this with me. So let me publicize my latest work just five days ago. This has come out looking an investigation of the wonder of life. I gave this English title just for today. 
the, the original title is Dokkin, Inochi no Fushigi, Josatai. Dokkin is the name of the character, and uh, this is the sound of uh, heartbeat in Japanese. Uh, this was pub published as a paperback, but you can find the old story on the website above. Mm, this is all written in Japanese, so if you are learning Japanese, it will be good language practice. It's available for free. So this has been a long story, but I hope you have found out something today about what science manga is and about what peer for research through manga is. Thank you for listening. Arigato gozaimasu. So now for questions and answers, but not confident, but I'm not confident in answering questions in English. So Dr. Naono Rikodate will interpret between you and me. And after listening to today's talk, if there is an, anything you would like to know, just uh, ask us a question and we will be happy to answer it for you thank you thank you thank you very much Hayano san and um it's very very appealing like all the visual visual things and um and, and also sorry for the technical glitches um to the all the audience um so I think there are some questions coming through um, from Ifa. Thank you for a wonderful presentation. What advice would you give to a young person considering a career in this area? Ooh, and the second question is mm. Japanese um, from John San. Um, Ireland o azuneta, o ka? Mm. The first question was um, アドバイス。最初の、はい。漫画家を目指す。漫画家を目指す。理系漫画家ですかね。を目指す。あたいのアドバイス。えっと、最初にえっと、あの、自分の身の回りのトピックについて紹介する漫画をあの、自分自身で
she's using. So Hainosan is still using software, but giving a little more sort of a human touch in the in the way you you make drawings. あ、そうです。あとはあのフレスコというあのやはりアドビのソフトウェアを使っていてあの手で書いたようなあのタッチを出すことができます。フレスコですか？フレスコ。フレスコ。So there is also another um software called Fresco um which gives that sort of human touch um in the work. And there is another question um from Sasaki-san. Um, thank you very much for today. Uh, 今日ありがとうございました。これから漫画で書いてみたいと思うテーマ、テーマありますか。はい。やはりあのアイルランドのあの研究開発の漫画を書きたいですね。大学の研究のお話を聞きたいです。So <笑> um I know some wants to draw um research um sort of research works I guess in Ireland and listening to more um listening more about what's been going on in Irish universities. Thank you. And so Dokin's link is now shared. So hopefully everybody in the audience can get that. And there is another question from Fransan. Are there any opportunities to connect with Japanese university students to work on these kind of illustrations? As in maybe internships, competitions, volunteer work, or even summer camp, maybe. Mm. などがサマーキャンプなんかありますかそうですねはいそれはどれも素敵なアイデアですねあの実際は今のところはまだありませんがあのそういうものを作りたいと思いますありがとうございますそう so there have haven't been these kinds of opportunities um yet but uh haino san appreciates this these ideas brilliant ideas and she would like to implement these um in the future thank you there are some other questions um now they're coming from both sides um so chat box and q and a's from mm -hmm. kanda san thank you so much for joining in particular we found it um effective in promoting understanding between professionals from different disciplines can you tell us what kind of feedback you have received in practice あの、ま、先生とか、あの、専門職の方たちですかね。あの、の理解を深める上でとても良い方法だと思うんですが、どのような、これまでにどのような、あの、フィードバックを、フィードバックを、はい、受けられてますか。元々このあの、聞きたいけど聞けない。そういう時にあの役に立つと言われています。なるほど。そう、隣の研究室で同じ分野なんだけれども。So oh. it's it, she she drew this work um so that there is communication or dissemination of what they do in their research in the same discipline but different laboratories. And they they told her um it's been quite effective. Um, when they cannot communicate through, so like it's a very silo structure. I'm just guessing from what Hainan has said um, to be to go beyond that, um, sort of overcome the problems, um, not across different professionals as Kanda-san's question um, asked, but even within the same discipline, but mm -hmm. different um, subjects or so different laboratories. So it, as as Kanda-san has suggested, it's it's very effective in that way. もう一つはあの漫画だとわかりやすいっていうふうに言われていますね。To make the subject more accessible, um, so if you read the text, probably you wouldn't understand, but through manga, um, people in different disciplines could see, could understand it more easily. あのよりわかりやすいということですよね。漫画そうです。で、またあと1つあるのは日本語で来てますね。とても魅力的なお話をありがとうございます。進学する大学院をどのような基準で選ばれたのですか? 
So yes, the question yes. is um, question is about how did Hayano san choose um, to major, specialize in um, this English education for her postgraduate studies? Mm -hmm. 私はあのもともと物理ですから物理の大学院に行くこともできたと思いますが15年間仕事をしてあの一番面白いテーマを選ぼうと思っていましたその時にあのやはりコミュニケーションに興味があったのであのランゲージエデュケーションを選びました。So Hano san,、um, as you heard from Hano san's talk, Um, she majored in physics first for her first degree. So she could have gone on to、um, majoring physics at the master's level. But、um, the, what interested her most was around communications. And I guess, Hayao san, you didn't say, but probably international communication. That's why you chose English、um, communication.、Um, so the, I think she chose the subject based on her, what she's, she was really interested in. Chiban, so this is it. Hi, Arigato Gozaimas. Are there any other, any other questions? And I think you also had the questionnaire、um, circulated as well.、Um, if people in the audience could do, fill out the questionnaire, that would be great.、Um, My guess. Yes, I think that's, I think we covered all the questions.、Um, and it's coming to an end. Oh, there is one message. Yes. So、um, thank you so much.、Um, there are a lot of things, actually. There are a lot of angles、um, that we can still、uh, continue our conversations.、Um, but、um, I guess the time is kind of coming to an end. So、um, thank you. I just would like to express. Our heartfelt thanks from the, all the committee members and Experience Japan、um, Festival Committee and for this wonderful talk. And、um, we would like to actually bring you over、um, for the festival as well as、uh, another, another chance、um, for a different kind of talk. And especially you have this visualization. So、um, it would be nice for people to actually see how you draw, draw and so on and so forth. And so people also said thank you. I really enjoyed it.、Um, So that's comment comes through. Thank you very much.